Alrighty guys, so today we're gonna prepare some Jamaican food. So we got oxtail right here. We got chicken right here. I'm gonna fry some chicken. We got goat right here. I'm gonna curry some goat. And we have more chicken right here because I'm cooking for a, a tiny little get together party. So guys, I got my seasoning right here. So we're gonna start get cooking. First, let me wash my hands. So, we're going to prepare our seasoning for this. I got some habanero peppers. I think I'm going to use three because they're hot. And we're going to blend our seasoning. So, we're going to just dump that in there. I got some thyme. Some time in it. This thing is sharp. Also got some scallion, or some people call it green onion. I call it scallion. To prepare Jamaican food for you guys so there we go That I'm blending, I'm blending it for all three different types of meat. Ah. <laughs> I'm crying. This onion is making me cry, guys. onion is burning my eyes, Thank you. 
right, y'all. I think that should be enough. So next. Why you show me, baby? <laughs> I'm just grabbing some water. Baby got me crying with the onions. Tap some water in it. We don't need a lot. Then we're gonna blend our seasoning. Okay guys, that's it. So while I do blend it, we're gonna go ahead over here. Seasoning is finished blending, so now we're gonna get ready to season up the meat. So, firstly, we want to make sure we clean up the chicken, get all of these chopped off. We're not taking out the skin because it's fried chicken. Give it a regular. chicken we're gonna leave some for the oxtail and some for the goods so we're not gonna use all of it Ooh, that's about it next we're gonna go in with our powder seasoning so this is my season to the one 
I got some mixed Jamaican spice. And I also got some hot wings. So when you use this and season the chicken, it tastes really good. Then we're just gonna rub this in. We're gonna leave this overnight to marinate. So this is our chicken, ready right here guys. So next we're going to season our oxtail so. A regular like a wash cloth okay guys this is a wash cloth excess fat. So any excess fat you have on it, you want to kind of cut those off because we don't want a lot of fat on this. Alright guys, so I'm going to cut all this fat off and come back to you guys with the seasoning. So this is our oxtail right here and we're about to, after I cut off all those fat, you yeah, guys. Wash. I'll put the oxygen off. So I like washing my meat with limes because I think it cut the rock is really quick. I know some people use vinegar, but I don't like using vinegar, so I use a So after that, I'm just going to give it a little rinse again. I think 
think I need to invest in a wider. Instead of these little dishes, I need a bigger pan for when I'm looking for events like this. So I get a wider space to season all my stuff properly. So after we finish washing the meat, the season that I totally that I blend, we're gonna dump some on this and we're gonna leave the rest for the goat. So dump some season, we're gonna go in with our browning. Not too much because we're gonna brown the oxtail to give it coloring or more color. Next, we're gonna go in with curry spice again. We're gonna go in with some more Jamaican curry spice. See you guys. And that's it. And then we're just gonna toss this up again. I think I'm gonna add a little more browning. We don't want too much browning still, because remember, we're gonna brown it. I will give it a little. Right, so that should be enough. Then we're gonna put it in our dish from earlier on, and we're gonna let this marinate again, guys. Up next, we're gonna season our goat. So firstly, all this fat right here, you wanna get rid of it because you don't want it in your goat. And if you have like big chunks of meat, you wanna just cut them a little smaller. Well, I cut mine a little smaller. And like all these fats, you want to just skim them off because you don't want a lot of fat in it. And as I said, if it's too big, you want to just cut them a little bit smaller. We're just gonna run through these. Let's see if so, alright, guys, remember cut the fat off. If they're too big, cut them a little bit smaller. Like so. I'm gonna finish this up and come back. I finished cutting and trimming up the goat, so now I'm gonna wash my meat with some lime. As I said, some people love using vinegar. I prefer lime. I rinse out the goat E. <laughs> it's a rummy goat. but I'm just gonna tip a little bit on it so just that's good enough the rest I'm gonna burn and then guys I have a 
special ingredient. Wait, let me see my food first and then I'll tell you about my special ingredient. So this, I don't want to get my nails all curried up, so I'm going to try and toss it. I forgot my seasoning, my blended season. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna use my hands and just rub it in. So as I said, it may look white, or it look white, but I don't want to add any more curry because the rest of the curry, I'm going to burn it. In further video, you guys will see how I prepare it. So, I'm just gonna wash my hands. And I'm gonna show you a special ingredient that I put in my bowl, which gives it a nice flavor. Guys, when you put this in your curry goat, it ram it up. So, this is it. It's like a curry booster. Guys, when you show this in the goat, so like when it's near to cook, I put this in it. Guys, oh my God, it ram it up. Make the goat really good. All right guys, we'll see you soon when I'm about to prepare these for you guys. Today we're gonna cook these meats. We got the oxy right here. We got chicken right here that I'm gonna fry. We also got our goat that I'm about to put in a pot. So this is gonna be curry goat. This is oxy and fried chicken. So over here I got my pot. I'm just going to put some garlic in it. And this is how I burn my curry. That's so you burn your curry. And then go ahead and add that meat. So then I'm just gonna let this brown down until all the water dry out. Then I add a little more water and then add it to the pressure cooker. So after our goat is finished browning, this is how it's supposed to look. All very nice. So we're going to turn this off. We're going to head on over here. This is my potato salad I'm, I'm going to make for you guys in a few. I boil it and put it in the fridge to see. Alright, so. I'm going to transfer this goat. I'm going to burn up the camera, man. <laughs> Transfer the goat in this pot, in the pressure cooker. Tap a little more water in it. Like that one. I'm gonna pressure this for around 30 minutes now, guys. Right? And then that's it. So we're gonna make our potato salad. I already put one can of 
um, mix that in here. I'm gonna put another one. As you can tell, I'm old school because I still haven't got a can cutter in my kitchen. And every time I said I'm gonna get one, is whenever I'm ready to use it, I remember that I need one. So I'm just gonna strain this. That's the Jamaican way, guys. <laughs> yeah. I'm not supposed to be talking to the camera, but I had to say that. <laughs> so I'm just gonna add another mixed veg to that. I also got some chopped garlic and onion. I put that in my potato salad, guys. It gives it a nice flavor for some reason. And then also, you know, you gotta have mayo. And this is whole salad. I like no meal. <laughs> I like it creamy. All right, guys. So next, I also add a little bit of um. Granulated sugar to mine. I think the sugar will give it a nice little sweet taste to it. Mix it that garlic and onion. Next, we're just gonna stir this up. Let it get creamy. And I already boiled the Irish in um, salt water, so there is no need to add any more salt to this. Alright, I think that is well incorporated. Just gonna toss it in the pan. Toss it in this pan right here. So normally I put um egg in my potato salad, but because I'm cooking for a bunch of people today, not everybody likes egg or eat egg, so I'm not put it any egg in it because not everybody like egg yep and I'm just gonna put back this in the fridge until I'm ready for it all right guys so I'm about to make my flour mix to fry some chicken so this is just plain white flour I'm using a lot because I have a lot of chicken so next I season my flour with the same Hot and spicy wings um, seasoning. I'm also gonna add some some mixed seasoning to this. Yep. Up oh, next, this is some egg powder. I like using egg powder because it gives my chicken a nice color. So don't use a lot of egg powder because this thing is dangerous. <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit more egg powder to this. I think that's enough. And a little bit more hot wings. So 
this is our pot over here. It's getting nice and hot. I'm gonna turn on my, this one to start browning my oxygen. So, get this one nice and hot. Get this one nice and hot too. Next, we're gonna start browning our oxygen. Here. Like a drip test. <laughs> Not yet. All right, guys. So while the pot is getting hot, I'm gonna go ahead and start chopping some oranges. I didn't shop my knife this time, guys. nice and hot we're gonna go ahead and brown these oxtails so basically like frying them Thank you. 
This is the good stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and make some mimosas. This is the fun part, guys. You don't wanna make this part. Well, this is my fun part. Three banana champagne. Mimosa is like a blood orange elderberry zing. Yeah, so this is what I'll be using for my juice instead of just the classic OJ. Oh, fun mimosa. I'm just gonna put this in the fridge. You guys can see that. And I'm just going to toss this in the fridge until I'm ready. Alright guys, so let's go back to coating our chicken. I'm going to put this in the fridge. Just a second. It's a whole lot of work I have today. Just for keeping a party. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to toss some chicken. This is just the chicken that I see here, if you guys remember. They're all my little things. I'm so just gonna coat these. And as I said guys, normally sometimes when I fry chicken, I like coating them in egg. But when you're cooking for a party or a bunch of people, you don't want to use certain product because not everybody eat it or likes it. So. I won't be using any egg today, just dry flour. Just some dry flour mix. And we're gonna fry. Technical, yeah. they could start eating already. Yeah, this some people started eating already, so. This is the finished product. Yeah. Hello, hell! our channel to another video this is carrier and this is Marco Polo. alrighty guys so today I cook up a storm we didn't get to video all of it because time was rushing I was like we can't video all of it Mark gotta go it was a whole mess but I got it done so here I got some curry good I got fried chicken I got oxtail I did made a lasagna Mark got his on its plate and I got rice and peas or rice and bean I got pepper on a plate. Yeah, I got, I got, my, I gotta eat. With my pepper. Huh? I gotta eat with pepper, guys. And I also cook, cut a slice of tomato. Yep, 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 yep. I got potato, I made potato salad too, guys, but I didn't feel for that. So I haven't got it on my plate. But today was my daughter's birthday. Happy birthday to our daughter's our birthday. Daughter. Yeah. Today was our daughter's <laughs> birthday, guys. So, happy birthday to her. And I keep a little party for her. She had fun. 
<laughs> guys, I'm sorry. Anyway, let's dive in. Oh my god. So this is real Jamaican food. Except for this lasagna that I'm having. Okay. That's fake Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it's Italian. Mm. It's not Italian. It's pepper, not the hell. It has a little flavor. But not the hell. Ooh. Sorry. I also got the mimosa guys. This is the one that I made too. Mm. It's like a blood orange with elderberry. It's so good. Do so I eat a little at the party? Not a lot because I say, but that pepper. <laughs> <laughs> I save a little for the video. Guys, this is not seafood. This is. Right. It's really filling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna eat a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to say something I probably shouldn't say. <laughs> what? Why don't white people like go? <laughs> Leave it down in the cupboard. Why is it the American thing? They don't like go. Some of them eat the ox there because I tell them it's the tail of the cow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's like beef. It's just like steak. <laughs> it's just the tail of the cow. <laughs> and they eat it. But when it comes to the Virgo, they eat lamb. Yeah. It's something. But they don't just eat. better taste it. Most okay. of my friends even eat there. Yeah. But yes, so they won't eat the goat. <laughs> yeah, because every December time you hear them. They go one thing and share yeah. a bunch of deer. Wow. Get a bunch of deer, but they don't eat goat. Oh. I don't eat lamb. <laughs> <laughs> so. I don't eat, um, not lamb. I don't eat deer. My bad. 
Tastes good. It's the same as lamb. I right there. But most of my friends eat there. So one of my friends today was introducing her to the food. And this lady is gonna ask me if the chicken is real chicken. Is it real chicken? <laughs> no, lady. Oh, I, I was just about to call her name. <laughs> no, lady, it's, it's foul. I tell her it's foul. <laughs> it's not a real chicken. Chicken and opposed to what? She's asking because you have curry goat, as in goat meat. No. Yeah. You have cow meat. So then she's gonna ask if it's pretty chicken. I don't know, what's the meat? <laughs> but I tell her it's full. I don't know if you guys understand when I say fowl, but fowl is like a Jamaican term of chicken. Chicken. Yeah. Sometimes always somebody will cook for me. Are you trying to tell me to cook more often? No. You didn't finish your statement. Sometimes I wish somebody would cook for you more often. I guess he's just somebody. Next time I'm cooking like this, guys, I'm going to do a live. Cause today with the whole video in, trying to get it, wasn't working out. I'll try. Good thing about this. Everything came out just perfect. Yep. Let's use your. <laughs> so when I came in, <coughs> because I had to drop off some other guests that we invited, they didn't drive. So when I came in and saw the food carry had left first to blah, what I was like. Carry, I could eat all of that by myself. <laughs> nah. <laughs> but it's not. So 
we're both in pink because we keep like a pink princess party. It was super cute. I think I have a picture of the settings. Maybe I can tag it so you guys can see, but it was super cute. And baby girl did enjoy herself. She did like her gift, a bunch of gifts. She love it. So, I guess I'm just gonna taste the lasagna. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <sighs> I'm adding the lasagna on my face. I'm gonna take a bite of his. <laughs> So that lasagna is the one that I made before on camera. It's the million dollar pasta. Mm. So I remade it today for oh, our guests and they love it. For a second of all, my friend took the entire half. You know like the container? She took it home. She's like, oh, this is good. I said take it, take it. You can take it. Marcia, take me a piece. <laughs> yeah, but it was so good. It is good. It is good. You know that something actually tastes oh. good when your belly's already filled. <laughs> yeah, it still tastes good. It is good. Alright, so guys, so next time when I'm trying to make a lot of food like this, I'm just gonna turn on my phone on live and just do a live. Unless I'm doing like a one meal for just us, I can vlog it all. Yeah. But this was too much, guys. It was a lot. Cheers. Cheers, y'all. I think that's it for us. Yep. Alrighty guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification button so you get notified as soon as we post another video. And we love you guys so, so much. Stay with us. Peace. Out.